But did you find him simply irresistible and, better yet, did the judges? Last night, Kurt Warner did the tango. And helping us break it down before we get tonight's results is Bill Jones, our sponsor from Fred Astaire's Dance Studios. So, uh, you know, we're not on necessarily Dancing with the Stars, but we can certainly pretend like we are. We can pretend like we're the judge and weigh in on um, how we thought things went. Welcome to the show. Good to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner. Did you like? Did you dislike? Um, you know, what's great about Kurt is he improves every single week. Um, his posture is improving. His footwork's improving. The, the thing that Kurt is really lacking at this point is the passion that goes with the dancing. He's doing a great job mechanically, uh -huh. but he's not drawing you into the TV. And so if he stays this week, which I think that he has a good chance of staying, um, his teacher is going to have to work on pulling that out. So when you're watching the television, that it pulls you right into the screen. With so let's, him. we're looking at his face. He seems like he's kind of in it. No, like what would your critique be? I mean, like so right there, for <laughs> example. Okay. I'm supposed think, to turn my head to the left. I'm supposed to turn it very, very emphatically. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. No, I, he's he's doing the steps. He's like playing the game. It's just not in dancing versus football. You have to have that inner feeling, that inner rhythm. Yeah. And that's what we need to get when you watch some of his competitors competitors, you can they actually pull you into the TV, like Brandy pulls you into the TV with her. Well, Brandy happens to be one of your top two picks, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So let's go through the, your top two are Brandy and? And Jennifer Gray. Okay. Correct. Yeah, they were great. Brandy was yeah. great. Brandy just has this uh, on, on TV, and I'm sure live, just pulls you right into the screen with her. You actually want to get up and dance. Well, and Jennifer Gray, I love her, but I got to tell you, I'm so tired of her crying. It's a little bit of drama. She's a lot of drama. <laughs> but you know what? It's working for her because she is using that to her advantage to really come back and fight hard. Absolutely. You know, at, at someone um, 50 years old, as she tells everybody on, on TV, she does an amazing job. She she's dances a lot better than some of my 20-year-olds. Well, does yeah, a great she job. looks a lot better than yeah. some 16-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, my gosh. She yeah. looks fantastic. Uh, who was on the bottom of your... Poor Bristol, unfortunately. You didn't love um, it. Mm -mm. Yeah, Bristol has uh, kind of the same thing Kurt does. You know, you the watch mechanics. her, it's just mechanical. Um, I think that if she does stay, which I hope that she does, because she's really a sweet girl, that her teacher really works with her, Mark really works with her, and pulls out who Bristol really is. Cause it's just interesting, here. though. You don't always see her like that, that robotic kind of dancer, like, but it's this particular dance. She just detaches. I don't know if it's the way she's trying to hold her head, but it seems like with some of the other, like when she stuck her tongue out last week when she doing the rock and roll thing, Correct. we had that moment of like, okay, there she is. Yeah. But. Yeah, but you know, the, this week was pretty hard because they're yeah. trying to, it's like karaoke, trying to sing someone else's song yeah, yeah. versus showing their own personality. So that's the thing I was disappointed in the show last night. You really never saw a whole lot of their person. They were sure. trying to be like the other person. Yeah, yeah. Who else was your uh, on, on your poopoo list? The crazy one in the blue, <laughs> Rick, unfortunately. Yeah. That I was know a that, lot of, it was, yeah, that was a lot of personality right there. Yeah, it was almost over the top. The quick step is, is a fun dance. It's upbeat. Um, but he just took it a little bit over the top. Um, his posture coming from me, I'm 6'3". <laughs> yeah, there he goes. It gets crazy. And that part's fun, but he's constantly looking down. He needs to pull his chest up and, and really show off the dancing. But he did an okay job just compared to his competitors. I didn't that think was that the was Apollo himself. Ono um, Correct. kind of channel, channel your inner skater, right? Yes. Okay. Well, let's um, shift gears just a little bit, um, because even if you're not on Dancing with Stars, you can certainly enjoy all the enthusiasm and the fun behind dancing. Absolutely. And there are a lot of benefits, just be besides a good time. Correct. Um, like de-stressing. Yes. Um, every day, um, you're, you're a recent, you're a new mom. Yeah. You know, I'm sure sleep isn't uh, on the top of your list at this well, point. No, it has to be at the top of my list. It's just not, I'm not actually getting it checked off. <laughs> Absolutely. So most people, they go to work every day. They, uh, they have people pulling them left and right. They have kids. So how do you de-stress? You, you have a couple choices. You can go and you can go to the gym, which is a great way. But you're doing the same thing every day. Every day you're running or every yeah. day you're working out. At least in the dancing, you get that exercise value, and you get, it's the first time you get done with that long day, you put your significant other in your arms, and you just start looking at each other's eyes and start moving, and it just comes off of you. Well, you were the hearing music, rumba music, and this happens to be, um, you know, it's a kind of a, I don't know, sexy, sensuous kind of it is. opportunity, isn't it? Absolutely. It makes you feel good. You know, James, uh, if you look at these two, James is the frame. And he's got that beautiful picture. And after a long day at work or with the kids, 
You put each other in each other's arms, you start moving around like that. How fun is that? Yeah, no, that's, that, my husband always, every time there's a dance segment, I get the phone call right after the show. <laughs> Honey, I want to go dance. Correct. The problem is that I just don't have any rhythm. That's the, that's the problem. No, everybody has rhythm. You just need to get to it. I'll show you. I, I you ready? No, no, I, no, 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 I'm Bristol. I am Bristol. No, no, I'm worse than Bristol. I'm the, um, I'm the mom of uh, the octo, what's her name? Um... Who is, no, not the Octomom. Who was on the... the, the, the sh Kate Gosselin. Thank you. I'm like, Kate it's not Gosselin. the Octomom, but no. you have eight kids. I'm Kate Gosselin. Give me two hours. I'll change that completely. You know what? We might have to take you <laughs> All right. That. that sounds great. Um, we do want to tell everybody about a special offer. I'm going to go make it easy for you. Uh, there is a special offer. Go to fredastairearizona.com and fill out a form for two free dance lessons. And apparently, they'll find your rhythm. Absolutely, we'll take care <laughs> of you. Even if you have two left feet like I do. They have five valley-wide locations, and you can choose from any of those to go and de-stress and really just have a great time.